and welcome to BHC Today. I'm Pastor Dave. It's Monday, September the 20th, a beautiful day on God's green earth, and uh, we should say on God's brown earth as well, green and brown, that would cover it all. Uh, we're so, I'm so glad you've joined me for a few minutes. A thought I'd like to present to you today that we want to visit for just a brief time, and that is, I am not called to be right. I'm called to be righteous. Can I repeat that? We are not called to be right. We are called to be righteous. We live in a day and age when we spend great energy and time, uh, sometimes money, in uh, expressing that we are right. And if we are right, you are wrong. Or if you are wrong, if you are right, I am wrong. Uh, and, uh, and that's the way of mankind, it seems. In the spirit, in the things that really matter, in, in eternity, right and wrong is vastly different from the conversations we have. Right is all about the authority resident in God, the Lord, the master, the creator of the universe. He is right. In him, all of the love and the grace and the uh, mercy and the how he and the order with which he created the world, uh, he is right, and that is right. I discover it, but I am not right. But I am called to uh, be righteous through a relationship with Jesus Christ, where he is my righteousness. It's very easy to become confused because we can read the Bible and uh, seek for it to justify uh, what we believe to be right. We can read the Bible uh, and really uh, get it wrong because the Bible is about leading us to the source of righteousness, and that is a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Let me read a scripture, a couple scriptures actually here, that uh, both uh, written by Paul, that uh, basically gives us that picture, um, the first one from Philippians uh, in chapter 1. I'm going to begin at verse 9, and uh, this is from the Passion Translation. I continue to pray for your love to grow and increase beyond measure, bringing you into the rich revelation of spiritual insight in all things. This will enable you to choose the most excellent way of all, becoming pure and without offense until the unveiling of Christ. And you will be filled completely with the fruits of righteousness that are found in Jesus, the Anointed One, bringing great praise and glory to God. And you will be filled completely with the fruits of righteousness that are found in Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, bringing great praise and glory to God. We are not called to be right. God is. Jesus is. We are called to be righteous in him. And as we follow Jesus, we become more like him. And he gives us his righteousness. His righteousness is poured into us. But it's not because we're right. It's because he is. Yes, there may be some things, many things that you're right about. Many things possibly that you're wrong about. The reality is that our righteousness is found in Jesus Christ. And his work through the Holy Spirit is constantly, constantly to make us more like Jesus. The Holy Spirit is that compelling uh, presence of Christ in our lives that is constantly drawing us to himself. Sadly, uh, I think we do long to be right. We long to be authorities. We long to say, this is it. And uh, sometimes, you know, uh, maybe we've nailed it. But the reality is the source of rightness, the source of righteousness is never me. It is always God expressed in Jesus Christ, relevant to my heart and life through the Holy Spirit. Let me read another scripture here. This from Galatians chapter 5 
And uh, it, he really talks, Paul, Paul talks about this fruit of the Holy Spirit, this the fruit which identifies that we are righteous, gifts from God through our relationship to Christ. But the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions. Let me read that again. But the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions. Joy that overflows. Peace that subdues. Patience that endures. Kindness in action. A life full of virtue. Faith that prevails. Gentleness of heart and strength of spirit. Never set the law above these qualities, for they are meant to be limitless. The Bible, the amazing thing about the Bible, is it allows us to know how far short we fall of being right. Over and over again, it identifies that outside the relationship with God through Jesus Christ, Outside of that relationship, we are wrong. Even in our attempt to live by the law, to do good things, we are lost without his righteousness as a part of the DNA of who we are. So we live daily. We live as his spirit lives in us. And his righteousness becomes our righteousness, not independent of him, but because of him. Oh, friends, God has so much for us as we follow Jesus Christ. Would you pray with me? Gracious and loving Father, we seek not to be right because we aren't. We seek to be righteous because you have made it a gift, a gift that was paid in the sacrifice of your son on the cross, a gift that was, was given to us through his resurrection and now through the presence of his Holy Spirit. So, Father, thank you. May today we live in complete freedom as we recognize that we don't have to be right, but we are called to be righteous from which we live and love and move and have our being because you live in us. You are right, Father. You are our right. And as we recognize wrong, we recognize how inca incapable we are of living right lives. So, Father, we trust in Jesus we follow him, and we live expecting that your Holy Spirit is going to make us more like him so that that which pours out of our lives is just like he, just like him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a blessed day. Please remember, remember how much God loves you and how much he has for you as you follow his son, Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day. Bye now. <music>